we back and we black. Oh, uh, we back and we black. Hey, all y'all are like twins. The long winter. Shall we continue Ooh, these are or do we pick another deck? I like that one though. The first one was too much. I was like, huh? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Whatever time it is where y'all are, I'm back again. This is just Shay and friends, and I am Shay, and I'm back with my friends. Uh, I have with me Ace. Yo, how's it going? How y'all feeling today? Shardy. Hey. Hey, hey again. You didn't light up. Hey. Uh uh, not that deep voice, girl. <laughs> oh, my bad. You had to call. Oh. <clears throat> okay, okay. okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> and last but not the least, the smiley. Hi. Hi. <laughs> smiley on the road today. She out in these streets. But she's Bro, still came to hang out with us. Y'all see, she got her glasses on, y'all. She got her glasses on. Making me want to put the, mine the, back on. She got the lot, sexy librarian going on today. <laughs> I want to match. Look, all of them got the light. I'm missing my glasses. We smart today. I keep looking around like you got them. <laughs> I, you know what? I, I do got glasses. Do you really have glasses? You do got some. Nana's about to be the glasses. She sister. do not wear them. She do not wear them at all. Who? Me? No, Why it can't just be a me a smiley thing? I, well, yeah. I'm a contacts. I have contacts, okay? I do not. That's you really I, actually went and got, got the glasses. I, do, I got my old pair. Like these, these are not the right prescription. So it's gonna be a little. Uh, uh. You should little, probably uh, not wear those. Yeah, if you can't <laughs> see out of them. Let me see. Let me see. No, look at that sexy stud matching. Mm -hmm. Not that sexy. <laughs> oh Jesus! Look, oh Lord. Okay. Those are auntie glasses, though. I like them. Cause you are auntie. I am. But I like them. These and these the ones from like middle school, the ones that got beamed in the face. Oh my goodness. And that's why what? you still got them. These, that's these why last the forever. Is gone. You these need them last forever. It's the memories for me. <laughs> All right. Uh we're playing a game today. Um, Ace, can you tell us friends about this game that you have here? And this is not sponsored, BT does. Right. Just like this is not sponsored, so I can't give y'all the actual name of these cards. But it's it's a popular podcast that we all know and love. Like we got, you know, people like Ace Metaphor, Kita Rose, and stuff like that. This is this is the game that they came up with. And, you know, without giving it away, we're just, we're gonna have conversations. And if you if you get that reference, then you know what card game this is. But the deck we're gonna do is the relationship debate ones. So we're gonna, I'm gonna read them. Don't make fun of me of my stutter, cause it's hard reading out loud. Cause y'all, y'all like to come for people. Don't do it. You come they for me, I'm going not. to hell. This ain't third grade. Like you come <laughs> for me, I'm going to hell. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> but anyway, we got some it questions. Go low, here. I go low, er. <laughs> low, er, er. All right. <laughs> so, are y'all ready for the first one? And why are these faces? I'm ready. You ready? Okay. This one, it says, would you ever propose to a man or like masculine presenting for us, um, accept the proposal from a woman? Why are, why not? Mm. Would you ever propose or accept a proposal? Like if a, like you're masculine or whatever, you're a man, your lady proposed to you. Are you accepting, <laughs> like, or not? Like, yeah, why not? Because only I can propose. Nah, bump that. If you want to propose, that's fine. Because half the time, I have social anxiety. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna talk myself out of it. So if you do it first, that's great. <laughs> Me, I would definitely propose. You would propose. You would. Mm -hmm. I would. I feel like in a heterosexual relationship. It kind of matters, like, it matters to them. I don't know why it matters, but it matters to them. Tradition. Um, but in our community, it don't really matter. Like, it is, look, it is, like, 
more so for us masculines to propose. But I saw this video yesterday that said, like, literally, like, this 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 film, she proposed to her stud. Like, and, she, and her reason was every lady deserves to be proposed to. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they actually, like, if she actually proposed to her before and she just wanted to do it back so she feels special, too, that she, you know, someone asked for my hand. But I don't know. I feel like a proposal is a proposal. Someone felt the need that they were ready to ask you that question. It shouldn't matter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that gender roles are dumb anyway. I hate them. Very much so. And I agree with Ace. I don't know if it's the same couple, but it was a one, one couple I saw. She initially proposed to her, her stud, and then the stud came back. And she proposed to her, and it was so cute because it was like a book, a comedy book or something like that. She made mm -hmm. a watch or something. And I was just like, oh my gosh. Like, and the woman was crying, even though they was already engaged, it was still like, I'm still proposing to you. You yeah, know what I'm like, saying? And, and I thought that was beautiful. Wait. Like, oh, I'm like, like a double proposal. <laughs> right. Exactly. Like, now you got something like you, your proposal time is even more special because y'all decided like, yo, like both y'all literally decided that, that this is my person. I'm going to ask them the question so they know they feel special. You know, mm, I, feel exactly. like that, I feel like that shouldn't matter. Mm -mm. But like coming from like a family with like a whole bunch of men, like actually proposing the re I understand why they do it. But I feel like their lady should propose to them as well. Like, you know, she wants you type shit, you know, mm -hmm. they're not just in it for whatever reason, because well, the way my grandfather told me it was like a man, he doesn't ask her first. First of all, that was my red flag. Like, why won't you ask me first? Like, you gonna spend your life with me. He asks his like her father, like her protector. He goes, ask her protector first and then comes through and be like, and if protectors say, okay, then you go do and ask her. But if you ain't got that relationship with that person, it's like, who, who are you ask? Who, what protector are you asking at that point? Because if you ask her mother, then I don't know. Is that the same thing? Like, are you still getting that same gratification as you, if you was to ask it from a man, like coming from a man's point of view, I'm just saying, like, I can I answer why. that, um, um, Ace. Um, so like when I was close to my father, you know, he always said like, you know, if you're going to be with somebody, they need to ask me first. And at first I didn't understand it either. However, it's just a respect thing. Your father is giving you up. You know what I'm saying? I was this little girl's protector. I was this little girl's, star uh, not server, um, well, person, provider. There you go. I was this little person's provider and I made her to who she is today and I'm giving you this part this woman because it goes all the way down to ancient years I'm giving mm -hmm. you this little this woman who I been doing all this so you can take on that same responsibility yeah mm -hmm. so like, I see why so you're saying like well okay if that father is not there then what happens well then in, it goes to the mother because if you also think about it there's been weddings where the mom is like I give my daughter onto this person. Mm -hmm. So it's the same concept. Whoever made that woman who she is and who was the actual provider and who was the actual person there, they're the person giving it away. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it. Yeah, that put a lot into perspective for me just now. That's why I was so quiet. Because <laughs> I had this father that I was dating years ago of this uh, New Yorker. And you already know how they are. Then I had this father come at me all crazy. And that's why I stopped dating her. Because he was real aggressive with it. What you want with my daughter? Huh? I'm like, sir, <clears throat> you're doing a little bit too much. But I didn't say nothing at the time, but I just thought he was doing way too much. But now I get it. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. This is my baby. This is my little girl. This is who yes, literally I thought I was her first love type shit. Like, so yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm come, what? I'm come hard behind her. Yeah, he he came in hot, but now I get it though. <laughs> okay, like, along what? along those same questions, along that same line, okay. If you propose to your girlfriend, right, and she declines, is the relationship over? Explain. No. No, I I would feel like um I would then ask well why, you know, and or hopefully she'll tell me what the, I'm saying no because it's such and such and such. 
it's not saying that we're not we shouldn't be together. Now, if she say on long side and I'm not in love with you, then yeah, we're gonna end it. But you know, if you give me like a legitimate reason, like I don't feel like I'm ready due to I want to be at this point in my life in order to ensure that I'm able to provide for you in my case, in your kids, I want to be on a certain level before we make that commitment. People don't understand when you're in a marriage, when you're in a, um, an actual committed relationship with somebody, it's more than just a piece of paper. You know what I'm saying? It's more than I love you. It's being stable and actually being able to, you know, go ahead, go ahead. I'd be quiet. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. My turn, my turn. I'm a, like, I'm totally opposite of that. If you say no to me, the relationship is over. The relationship <laughs> is fucking over. Excuse my French, I don't care. The relationship over, and let me explain why. It's over because you know, like, at some point, you knew this was going some. You knew some, at, at some point, you knew I was going to ask. We've been together for X amount of years or X amount of time. And then, you wait until I fucking get on my knee, invited people out and to embarrass me and say fucking no. Ma'am, ma'am, <laughs> absolutely not. The relationship is over. We're <laughs> we're done. Like Yeah, I'm mad, but it's theoretical. You <laughs> the way you explain it. Like, I'm being, I'm being like, think about it. Like you've been with this person yeah. for like, even if you make it to a year and a half, you know this person. You already know how they feel about you. They show you, they are showing you every day. They're like, they're like they made you like their emergency contact. Emergency contact come before the question. Mm -hmm. Once you the emergency contact, you should know that proposal is on the line, which means I'm no longer looking for my ex my my family that I came from to come help me out no more. I'm looking for you. You are my emergency contact. Why? At that when I when I made you my emergency contact, that was your time to speak up. Like, hey, you might not want to do that. Yeah, Deal with I mean, talk about you it. Say, like I we've been together for X amount of years. I was looking at something that made me, you know, I was looking at the this woman. She was on TikTok and she actually explained, don't when you're with somebody, don't look at how many years y'all been together. Think about, you know, have you actually been through stuff with this person? That's why I said marriage is so different. Like it is different that, than being boyfriend and girlfriend or girlfriend. Under, and, girlfriend. and that's understandable. But I'm saying if it's been years, you went through someone, someone passed away, you lost something. One of y'all lost a job. One of y'all went through a promotion. One y'all had so much to go. Y'all celebrated birthdays. Y'all went to family functions. Y'all went through shit together. Y'all, yours literally your whole soul. You you done made this person like almost your everything, almost. But mm -hmm. what you did, like all that stuff comes with stuff. Like you know the family drama now. Like you know all this, but yet you're telling me you're telling me no, and you're sticking around. You know you know the you know the family crazy is what I'm saying. You know the family crazy, and you you wait until I get on my knee to tell me you don't feel that way about me. You don't want to do this, or you having these reservations. What, and that's where that communication comes in. You should have told me before, like, or there should have been some inclination where, like, hey, you, I don't, don't pop the question just yet, you know? I hate to interrupt your friend. <laughs> go, go ahead, go smiley. ahead, smiley. Come on, smiley. Okay. Are you a yes or no? Which side of the fence you on? First of all, don't ask me that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me say what I gotta say and then ask me, okay? I need you to calm down your emotions. First of all, I need you to wusa. Because, baby, I didn't do it. I didn't tell you no. So please do not take it out on me. <laughs> I should about this. I think she need to take some deep breaths, too. Blow yeah, up the candles. Right. We need a, so we'll saw a moment. Okay. So I have been in a situation where I have been proposed to, and I was not ready for the relationship. I still said yes, but in private. I, we did communicate that we were neither, neither one of us was ready for that. Like, it, it was it was a very bad situation. No, and I only said yes because I did not want to embarrass her, but that is also fucking up because now everybody that saw me and witnessed me say yes, they think that we were about to get engaged and we get married and we're happy and ha ha ha. Mm. So my question to you would be, would you rather her lie to your face and say yes or be honest with you in front of everybody and be an actual real ass bitch and be like, no, 
So like, come on, smiley. Like, what? Come like, on, smiley. Yes, yes, you went through experiences with each other. Yes, you witnessed this, and yes, you've been together X and Y and Z. But if it is not working for that person, it's not working for that person because everybody's feelings are valid. You cannot invalidate uh, nobody's not, feelings based off what you're going through. I'm not, I'm not denying it, but that's what I'm saying. Why didn't like you gave me no inclination prior to me popping the question? What is our key word, children? I need the choir to come together. Need to it is communication. Real. That's right. what I'm saying. But, right. hey, I feel you but the relationship so, like, over. Why would, you, why, would you, why would you propose to someone when you're not having adequate communication? Because that is something you have to prepare your partner for. You have to know. Mm -hmm. You have to know. And you got to realize that common sense really ain't all that coming. Like for me, when I was proposed to, I didn't see that shit coming. If I propose and she say, no, I'm not going to just break up. That's not me. But I'm not going to ask again because now it's on you. You have to tell me. That's not you're not going to ask again. No, because like you're Charday the one that said. wasn't ready. At that point, it's on you to ask me now because now I'm, I'm, I've been ready. You're not ready. But Smiley, but, right? Y'all still got to talk about it. And Sharday was right. That person now need to say, okay, I said no because now yeah. we can move on or not move on. So it depends on what they say. I said no because this. Now, if they're not communicating at all, then yeah, I'm breaking up. If you just say no and that's it and don't tell me why, yeah, I'm breaking up. That would be really weird. They just be like, no. Mm -hmm. I would have said yes, but also I would have pulled my person to the side and be like, hey, just look, just to let you know, this is going to be a long engagement for this reason. Mm. Very long. Like, I, can I can deal with a long engagement as opposed to you telling me no. Yes. Woo. <laughs> that was a debate. It was that, exactly. That was good. That was I, I felt like we got a little bit of unpacking and unloading done right yes. there. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah. Right. I like that. Oh. I'm scared. Oh, I'm kind of scared what's happening next. No, I right. Okay. Guess. This one, this, this one, this one, like this one may be <laughs> this one, this one may end the relationship. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh. Okay. This is just the next card. It says, Smiley, after dating your significant that? other for a year, you find out that they have a child that you they never Emoji. told you about. What happens next? What? Because this hand distracted me. Yeah, that's why I was saying. Right, the turn your right, turn I'm hand. trying to, hey. Hey. Because it's drawing, it, that's it what it's supposed to do. I know it's drawing attention to you. So <laughs> I keep looking at you instead of Ace. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm going to read it again. After dating your significant other for a year, so you've been dating this person for a year, y'all, you find out that they have a child they never told you about. <gasps> what happens next? Breaking up with them. You're fired. Yeah. In instantly. <laughs> You're fired. Instantly. I'm sorry. It's because I have four kids, and my, my first instinct is to say, I have four kids. Like, mm, wherever you're going to see, whatever social media you see, you're going to see my kids. And if I I'm gonna present them, not not to you, but you know, not you're not gonna meet them right away. But what I'm saying is, they are me. They are of me. Mm -hmm. So that's I'm sorry, but if you feel like you gotta hide your child, you can't even tell me that you have one. You're hiding your child. That means you don't love your children, your child as much as I love mine, and that means there's some type type of issue there that I really don't like. It, it gives me that. That's how I feel. Like, why are you hiding them? You know what I'm saying? Me personally, no, you don't know. I have kids and I love my kids and my kids come before everything. You know what I'm saying? You can't tell me that. I'm good with it. It's a red flag for me. Yeah, red flag. I agree. Because why are you not? That's the first thing I say when I'm like, you know, talking with somebody in that stage. Like, you know, I have kids. When they say, tell you about yourself. Okay, I'm, I'm I'm Shay, 41, whatever the case may be. I got two kids. They're this age. Like, why you not? Why you not giving that information? For me, that's a red flag. Smiley, go Shay, ahead. Uh, you ain't got to raise your hand, Shay, man. Say how old? How old you said you were? Say what now? How old did you say you were? I'm 41. Girl, you look good. Go on with your man. <laughs> Oh, yes. but yeah no it would be a no for me i'd be like it was nice knowing your friend right bye okay okay, okay bye <laughs>
<laughs> like I'm gonna have to say, like if I have literally, then this car said I have never met. I have, you never told me. Then yeah, that's a red flag for me too. Cause I'm be like, I don't have any children. Just put that out there. I don't have any children, but I was a I was a product of a single mother. So whenever she met someone, her first instinct was to tell her her name, her age. Well, she doesn't tell her age, her name, where she's from, and that fact that she has a child. And honestly, she she told me why. Because I like I always ask my mom. I used to always ask my mom these weird ass questions when I was like five and seven years old. Okay, don't ask me why. I just did. Okay, very intuitive. So I'm like seven at the time, and I'm realizing she's dating. I'm like. And, like, I hear one of her conversations on the phone with him. I was like, why are you telling him you had a kid? Like, don't you think it will help your chances better if you told him that you did it? She was like, it may help my chances, but then I'll be a liar. I'm hiding you. She said, I'm hiding you. And also, I want to give them the option if they want to be, a, like, potentially be a part of mine and your life. Understand, like, your children are your safe spot. Your, people shouldn't just meet your children off back. But... Letting them know that uh, you have a child is something important. Because what if something comes up with your child and we're in the middle of a date? And now I got to rush you to the hospital. And I'm looking like, what the fuck just happened? Who who the hell is this? You know? Have y'all ever been, um, let me lower my hand. Have y'all ever been in a relationship where you didn't like somebody's kids? And if so, what you did? I never had no instance where I didn't like the kid. Yeah, I haven't either. Uh a lot of people that I've actually dated normally comes with no kids, so. Mm, that's convenient for you, ain't it? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she already got four. She, I don't, I don't. Right. <laughs> I don't need a, they don't need a mansion. It, it may be so bad to say this, but I prefer a person who doesn't have kids. And only because I fear that when that, that other person is like not, going to like they're going to treat my kids bad if that makes any sense or treat my kids differently than how they treat their child so I did have this one dude that he had a son but you know he was never with the son at all but when the son came around it was like forget my kids f them mm -hmm. and I just really hated that feeling for them you know what I'm saying so I, I prefer a person who doesn't have a kids and who doesn't have kids and honestly uh, and honestly understand that hey ain't nothing else coming out of me that that's that's signed sealed and delivered we're done down there mm -hmm. so you just gonna have to be accepted of it I'm so serious <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a ready-made family you know what I'm saying you really are. I don't think ain't nothing wrong with that. That's your, you know, prerogative. That's, you know what I'm yeah. That's your preference. That's a prerogative. <laughs> same, same. What yeah. about you, Smiley? Um, like, Why she just start giggling? I, I was dating this girl and she did have kids. Well, her kid was bad as fuck. I just can't. Yo, I was waiting for somebody to tell this story. Go ahead, girl. <laughs> she was so bad, y'all. She was so bad. Like, and I was like, eventually, and, and you know what? I'm really good with kids. I love children. So I was really thrown off about how much I did not like. And then it makes me feel bad because I'm like, you're an adult and you have this vendetta against this little kid. But this, I wanted to. <laughs> Like, I want to really like, literally, literally, I told her, she'd be like, oh, you got games on your phone. I'm like, yeah, you know, this girl done went and bought all the Apple games with my phone and my iPhone. I need a woman. Yo, mama owe me money, bro. <laughs> and she was so bad. And all she did was talk. She said, well, my mama said. And I was like, okay. You're heathen. Um. <laughs> heathen. Girl. I hate nah, to say people it's kids. Only kids. one time, though. Yeah, I was that's like, isolated. Say someone with kids, I would. But listen, we gonna. I'm gonna have to try my hardest to build a relationship with your children, especially with your children. But if they bad, I can't do it. And I, I and it's nothing against the parent. Maybe you trying that, that. Maybe that's the best that you could do. Because I I was raised different, so it's like I can't. I can't. I'm not gonna tolerate that. You're not gonna talk to me like that, little child. Mm -hmm. You better go find your corner and sit down. Right. I hate to say people kids are bad, but I was in a similar, similar I was in a similar uh, situation where I was dating someone and her son was just 
the spawn, okay? He was the spawn of you know who, okay? And I think I'm good with kids as well. I'm very good with kids. But this one, I just could not even. I just could not even. And then it made me start seeing stuff in him that I started seeing in his mother. Oh. So mm -hmm. I was like, oh, nah. That's why he act like that. You mm -hmm. do this shit. Mm -hmm. So at that point, I didn't even blame him. I just broke up with her and I told her why. But, she, you know, she didn't get it. She didn't understand. She'd rather fight with me than listen. But, yeah, that was it. And everybody that we brought him around said that to me. Like, look, I ain't coming over again when, you know, son, son is there. He bad. Okay. All my family members, my friends, they all said the same thing. So I was like, okay, so it's not just me. <laughs> my children are just bad. Like, on that note, we going to switch. The next card. <laughs> I like that debate. I liked it. The next card. Your significant other forgets your birthday. What happens next? Impossible. <laughs> That's all. They forgot your birthday. Impossible. It can't happen. I talk about my birthday every day of the year. Hard to forget. But they, but they forget your. It's your actual birthday, and they nothing, nothing, nothing on your birthday. It's impossible. Okay, so that means you know, you know, you no longer with Smiley on this. Okay, y'all, get her birthday. You're no longer with Smiley. All right, all right. Yeah, I think she's gonna fire you. It's I mean, impossible. but it makes sense. I'm with Smiley though. It makes sense. It does like, not make sense. It, if you're if you're talking about your birthday, hey, my birthday coming up. Everybody knows, like it, it'd be a week a week before, a couple of days. My birthday about to be here, and da, 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 on the day of. So there's no possible way you could just say, "Oh, I forgot your birthday, bro." I, I was just talking about it the other day. What are you talking about? <clears throat> I will definitely forget it. Okay, I'm gonna forget it five seconds after you tell me. Um, I actually am like you, Ace. You said in another episode that you don't celebrate your birthday. That's how I am. So if you forget, I don't really care. I actually don't like being reminded of my birthday. So yeah, but that's a whole nother story. Yeah, if you forget my birthday, like it's fine. I, it, for me, it's if they forget my birthday, it comes with. I feel like it just comes with the territory of my birthday. Like you're gonna forget it. Like other shit happening. Babe, if you got kids, baby going back to school, trying to try to get her together for the first week. We got to pay rent tomorrow. Like, I understand. But if you, now, if you remember my birthday, oh, oh God. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. You know? But if you forget it, it's like, I don't even, I got shit. I wish I could have forget it. It was my birthday. <laughs> Same. It was the auntie hand for me. <laughs> like, my birthday. Girls, okay. Go ahead and sh shook it. I'm um, shook it if you remember. <laughs> That's why you'll be trying to marry that girl and get mad because she said no, because she remembered your <laughs> uh -huh. she I probably threw her a party. And, you know, and you oh, marry me. Someone is dating two women. All right. Dating two women. They lie to one about this and the uh, and is truthful with the other. Which relationship does he value more? Do they value more? The one they're lying to someone to or the one they tell them the truth to? They don't have, hold any value in, in any scenario. They're they're both horrible. You would either either way, if you tell me, you don't tell me, if you find out, it doesn't matter. You're now non-valuable to me. I don't like that because I'm I'm like the type of person you ain't gotta lie to. I'm really not. You can tell me anything. I don't care. As long as you communicate things with me, and if it just if I'm not what you, you you just using me as a placeholder and then going out and doing your business somewhere else, you are not meant for me. Like mm. you're you're not. It's not your liar. Period. Point blank. So you're saying you wouldn't like somebody that's dating somebody else along with you. you yes. Like that. No. Unless we talked about it. Okay, but it's just, like, dating is you, just dating. Is just dating. Why my girlfriend can have a girlfriend. Like type things, <laughs> like no. let's talk about. It. I don't share. That's too far though. I'm just, we just talking about dating. No dating. Like two yeah, girlfriends no. is crazy. Dating, dating is something else. I don't. I wouldn't care because you can date whoever you want. I know the type of person that I am, and it's actually a privilege to be involved in my life. So if you choose to date somebody else and continue to go forward with them, that is on you. There's no. I don't have any hard feelings. I'm gonna just go date somebody else. As you should, as you should. 
Charday because Charday face like face is turned up. Charday face been turned this whole time. She's like, I don't like this card at all. <laughs> What's wrong with the card? Okay, because I feel like it can go both ways. You know, diff um, depending on the scenario. So, like, first of all, why are you lying to me? That's one. You know what I'm saying? If no, we're but what dating, you're the one telling the truth. What you're the one that's being told the truth. What if you're the one? I ain't trying to be nobody's other woman, so I don't. I don't really fuck with it. So I don't know. Like I, I really don't like that card. I was hoping y'all just forgot I was right here. I'm not even gonna lie. But your face is hard to forget. Your, when it's your, that face, those faces was hard to forget, Charlotte. Hurry up. She don't like that like card. Or milk or something. It I, was I didn't. I don't like that card. Like it just really <laughs> depends on the scenario. Like I'm. I. I want to say I'm with Smiley, you know. But then when it comes to like you lying to me to keep me around, like bro, like now nah, I'm good with it. I don't know. You gotta lie to me if you're dating other people. You dating other people. Just don't be surprised when you text me what you're doing and you just it it's it's red and no response. Even if you the one that they told the truth to, it's still like you feel it's like still, you don't they don't care about you because exactly you, now they split their attention. So I get what y'all saying. I'm just picking up what y'all putting down. That's all. Uh that's what y'all saying, right? You still you feel like that. they don't care about you. They're not focused just on you. Exactly. Let's be clear of what the point of dating is. Like I know that like people can date multiple people, but for me specifically, I date with a goal you know if I'm dating you if I'm interested in you it's because I want to eventually build something with you grow with you and be together it doesn't necessarily mean that we got to get married and have a white picket fence but like I just I, I mean personally I can't date multiple people at the same time it's just not me because mm -hmm. I want to find something I like I like I'm very picky so if I like you I like you and you either in this or you out mm-hmm I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that I don't I agree with y'all. I don't feel like they value either one of those relationships. Um, cause like I I told y'all I told y'all what I'm going through. I am in the process of dating, and let me be honest. Each lady that I am talking to, they know that I'm dating. They know that I'm talking to someone else. I'm not hiding anything from either one of them. So it's just like if I don't feel the need to, I need to hide it. Why do you feel like you need to tell one truth and lie to the other? Be honest with both of them let, and let them decide if there's something they want to continue dating you with and if there's something that they're comfortable with. So I don't know. I don't think he, like, I don't think they value either one, honestly. They just trying to see what they can get. That's me personally. I did cake and eat it too. Just because they put that lie in there. Like, I'm, I'm with you. Like, so why you do that? Why you even? I don't see nothing wrong with dating multiple people, BT dubs. It's when you get past the dating phase. Yeah, when you're you, starting to say like, hey, this is my need, person, like, or I'm, you know, yeah. like you start you start making it exclusive, but you're What are you doing, Ace? I think she's flexing. It looked okay. like I had muscles. I got excited. Look at that. Look, look, you see these guts? Oh my God. Girl, I not... see shit. <laughs> Not this definition in these muscles. Right, and I didn't do nothing. Stop playing. I'm excited. Shit. Stop playing. Come take my trash out. <laughs> I got you. I got you. All right, y'all ready for the next one? Mm-hmm. Okay. Your best friend admits to often fantasizing about you and your significant other and asks for a threesome. What would you... How would you respond? This is... This has just happened to me recently, and it really freaked me out. It really freaked me out. It really freaked me out. And I was just like, no. She wanted a threesome that was, with you and someone you talking to? It wasn't somebody I was talking to. It was somebody she's talking to. <laughs> First of all, I don't do all that soul swapping and energy and stuff like that. Y'all already know that. But I was just appalled because you're my best friend. You don't see me in situations. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. Like, now I can't be around you. <laughs> I'll say, yeah, no. Because for one, like, if you're my friend, why are you looking at my my significant other like that? And for two, I'm already selfish as it is. I don't really like threesomes anyway. 
So then, like, I feel like if I would have put myself in that position, you and your significant other, you and yeah, again, why are you looking at my partner? Yeah, okay. now I'm looking at you sideways, and now we're not friends no more. You just ruined that friendship for me. So mm -hmm. yeah, and, and and when it comes to threesomes, like I said, I am so selfish because I'll be looking at my partner like, why is you doing it better to this person than me? You know what I'm saying? Like, so then the whole relationship would be over. I'm good with it. I'm good with it. You out of there? You out yeah. of there? I feel you. I don't think I have any friends that I look at like that that I would want to do that with. I don't think so. I think it grosses me out when I think about, uh-uh. I don't think I have any friends that I would. So if my friend said that, I would be like, ugh. Like, <laughs> what? You think about, like, what? Why are you, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> oh! I'm with the fems on this one. That's weird for your friend to, mm-mm. If it wasn't, for me, if it wasn't my best friend, if it wasn't my best friend, and the type of things that I could be into that I don't want to disclose, I would need to have a threesome at some point. But it will have to be someone that I don't know, someone that I could ghost later. <laughs> Especially since I'm bringing, I'm having my partner involved too. Like I don't need you trying to catch feelings for my lady or nothing like that. I need to be someone that we can go later or whatever. Anyone but my best friend. Not my best friend. Like, man, I'm me. And you've already probably seen each other naked. We we know too much dirt about each other. We know about each other's sex oh, lives. This one I, should be a good one. It says, a woman says she lost all respect for her significant other. Can the relationship be salvaged? Explain. No. Oh my. No. And it says all respect. All respect. No, because in order for you to do something that makes me lose all respect for you, that means you ain't nothing. Because I'm a very forgiving person. I like to give certain type. I, I give benefit of the doubt a lot. But if I've lost all respect for you, that means you don't exist anymore. You hold no importance. I am in agreement. Once again. <laughs> again. <laughs> no, I knew it. I, I, I agree so much. Like you did something so detrimental that I'm looking at you sideways and I have no respect. I have zero respect for you. Okay. okay. Quick. I had an ex and when I said this man, he ended up leaving me and his one of his kids, oh well, his kid. He ended up leaving to go help his mother. But I had asked him before he left, before I even knew he was left, he he was gonna leave. He um I had I, he hadn't he hadn't been working. And I was just like, you know, I am drowning. I'm sitting here, I have I'm working nonstop, like 24 hours a day. I'm I, I'm tired and I need you to, you know, help me. This man gets up, goes to California and goes helps his mom, gets a job in California and starts paying his mom's bills. Yeah. So then when I told him, he, um, you know, he called me, he never came back to Houston after a couple of months. And then um, he ended up calling me and I was like, Loki, I, we're not together because you're out there and I'm down here still doing everything by myself. After I begged and pleaded you for help, I had lost all respect for this man. All of it. Once he was out, once I had moved out and I got everything I needed, I like my, my respect for him was zero. You know, he still called me talking about we just went through so much together. <clears throat> and I just really want to boy, if you don't get off the hell out of my phone. Um, uh, I'm with Sade on that. You can't get it back after that. I don't think it's repairable. So mm -mm, I don't think it is. Cause you're gonna always be thinking about it, whatever happened. Forever and ever can't get i don't know can you get that respect back i don't think so respect is earned not given after they lose all respect all yeah, yeah all, think it's that respect. all is crazy so i'm i'm in agreement with y'all like once you lose all respect i feel like there's no salvage in that relationship like you have no, there's no, like, I don't respect you at all. It means I don't respect your opinion. I don't respect that you're here. Like, I just don't respect it. Like, there's no, there's no care in the world. So there's no salvage in our relationship. Now, 
you may want to take a step back and y'all to rebuild that you need to be not together or like just friends or something but in a relationship nah you can't salvage that you can't and even if and if you damage it so bad to where like even the friendship isn't salvageable you just need to walk away you just walk away it's bad that, that was bad yeah. How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling about these dates? This was fun. <laughs> this was actually a lot of fun. I like that. Yeah, I like this. This was nice. Okay. <laughs> Thanks everybody for joining us while we play this little um debate and game and getting these comments and debate with us. Some of these debates were ooh, they were saucy. They were spicy. I liked it. Okay. We're gonna do it again. We're gonna come back and play uh, the most likely to game out of this card deck. And that should be very interesting. And we're gonna do some more next time. Thanks for coming. Bye. Bye. Bye.